Pierre the Penguin, a true story, written by Jean Marzolo and illustrated by Laura Reagan. This is the true story of Pierre, a small penguin in a big museum. It is also about the people at the California Academy of Sciences who work together to help him through a hard time. Down at the end of African Hall, past statues of animals big and small, there is an aquarium wide and tall with real life penguins, 20 in all. African penguins don't like ice. For them, a warmer place is nice. Here comes Pam with fish in her pail. The penguins are fed twice a day without fail. Pam enters a tank through the sky painted wall. A hidden door there leads out to a hall. Some of the penguins look just the same. Wing bands help Pam call the birds by name. One day, aquatic biologist Pam, observing the penguins, saw one in a jam. Gently, gently, she examined Pierre. His feathers were gone. His bottom was bare. Pierre was afraid to go for a swim. He'd get too cold if he dived right in. How can I help you? What can I do? Pam had ideas and tried the first two. She tried a heater and the vet prescribed pills, but nothing worked. Pierre shivered still. The other penguins grew afraid of Pierre. He looked so strange that he gave them a scare. They brayed at him as he shivered on shore. They made him feel worse than he felt before. One rainy day, biologist Pam came up with a new idea. Shazam! My dog wears a raincoat, she told the vet. Could Pierre wear a wetsuit? The vet said, you bet. Pam and a friend worked day and night to make a pattern that fit just right. Then a wetsuit was made of neoprene, the tiniest one you've ever seen. Carefully, Pam put on Pierre, a wetsuit a featherless penguin could wear. Standing on a rock in his new wetsuit, Pierre the penguin looked mighty cute. He felt nice and warm and he wanted to swim. So what did he do? He dived right in. Splash! Whee! Now Pierre stood proud and tall and nobody brayed at him at all. Six weeks went by and then a surprise. Pam could hardly believe her eyes. Not only was Pierre no longer cold, he had new feathers. Observe and behold. Now warm in water, now warm on shore. Guess who didn't need his wetsuit anymore? Pierre made a nest for his very best friend. Their story goes on thanks to Pam. The end. Thanks for reading with me. I hope you enjoy.